So I'm going to show you how everything about Freema forms in less than seven minutes, right? So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is click on Insert and drag in your form builder, right? That's literally everything. But now this is the input. You save your name, your email, and your location. But that's not all. If you select the form right here, you could click on this and you could add more like radio inputs or others to like like checkbox, right? That's pretty simple. But one benefit of this is um, aside from um, you can send this to your email, your webbook, and your Google Sheet, which will, which will look later on. Um, one benefit of this is you could pretty much edit everything. Like I could come here, change the inputs to to color red, change the place that to white, right? And if I come here and start typing, you can see uh, everything is pretty much like a framework form. One stuff here is uh, I really like about this is if you click on the label and you select components, so just say this to inputs. Could create a component right here directly so change this i'm going to change this to black and also change this to light gray and on the text here set this to absolute and we're going to move this um move this here and this size yeah i'm going to make this 14 and yeah change it back to 12 pixels and move it to the top right and that's pretty much everything we need to do right here to create this sort of interaction well one more thing remove the placeholder because we don't need that you can set it to required and on the input we set an interaction that says um when this is focus changes to this and we can set another interaction that says when this is when this is valid when this is um blow rather and it is empty change it to that so what it does is it gives you this form set of um, some kind of inputs and if you start typing it changes right you remove everything it goes back we could um, make some changes here and maybe make this overflow visible so we'll be able to see everything properly overflow visible so now if we come back here and start typing yeah that's it but that's not all if you select the inputs right here we could um, so that the input right here, we could also select different types like dates, URL, number. So number, for example, we could set this to rates and add more functionalities like, okay, I want this minimum to be one and I want the maximum here to be um, 10, right? Or maybe, and I want, if there isn't a step button, it should be two. So what it does now is if we come here, we can only type up to 10. You can see you can't you can't get up to more than 10 and if you are using the step button it's minus by two or increase by two those are just some of some of that um setup and right here aside from this we click on our button this is also editable right you could select your success page and pretty much do all of those stuff uh, like for example if you click on this you could see the primary button you could edit it when it's over when it's pressed when it is loading when it is disabled, when it is success, and when it is failed, you could also do the same thing for the forms itself, right? If you come here and create a component, I'm just going to wrap this in a frame. Create a component, right? Create a component. I will say form component. Could also add a different one and make this hidden, right? And add maybe something as thank you. For submitting just bring this to the center make this black and maybe give this 24 pixels i think 16 is okay right so now we could come here to the form itself and just set an interaction where it changes to the sun on sources right we could add one more let us add one more so before thank you for submitting we could add a loader so come into icons add a phosphor icon and we could find let's see if we could find a loader load uh roll <laughs> i can't find another one i'm just going to use this one and set this to um effect loop right so this will keep on looping and we could say on the form itself when this is 
when this is um, loading, change it to that. And when this is, sorry, and on this form, when this is success, change to that. So same thing here to select the form when it is success, change to variant three. All right. So that's it. One more thing before we run this up in less than a minute is we could select the form and right here we could either choose to could either choose to um send it to an email so we could add our email the manual go at gmail.com right and we are not setting any redirect here because we are pretty much changing the state when it is redirected already like once it is successful right so if we publish this and go back here go to our our page and enter the details so i'm just going to enter this click on submit so exactly you can see it loads and show thank you for submitting that's 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 it pretty simple if you check here to your email you can see the submissions already right we could do the same thing too by connecting it with a, a webhook so you could use xano i say xano you could use make or you could use um zapier right i'm using make for this all we just have to do is enter so for send to we change it to and we just make add our url here right and publish for your webhook and that's pretty much everything in less than uh less than seven minutes you enter your same details manual and submit shows okay so thank you for submitting and right here use existing data this existing data and it shows uh this right here yeah yeah that's everything